gentlemen. I know that things have been pretty hectic in the Twitch community. What with all the confusion of what's acceptable sexual content and all. After posting our updated policy, I'm happy to confirm all is well and the community loves us again. The policy is now airtight and we've responded to every single bit of feedback. So pat yourselves on the back. I believe this is what the kids would call a solid W. Woo. Good job, team. Yeah, we right did on. it, yeah, boys. Exactly. Right on. Uh, excuse me, sir? Not again. Uh, what is it now? I'm sorry to rain on everyone's parade right now, but I do have some concerns that I really need to bring up. What could possibly have gone wrong? It's just that I think our policy might have been too much of an overcorrection. The policy is as clear as can be. You put a sexual content label on your stream and it hides it from the minors and from the Twitch homepage. Plus, we specifically said no fictionalized sexual acts or masturbation. That's pretty cut and dry. I understand that, sir, but there's parts of the policy that I find very questionable. Like, like these parts here, for instance, we're allowing fictionalized, drawn, animated, or sculpted, fully exposed female presenting breasts and or genitals or buttocks regardless of gender. I fear we might be opening up the floodgates, sir. Let me stop you right there. There's an easy solution for this. We'll call it artistic nudity. You're right, sir. Twitch has a huge community of artists. I agree. Yeah, yeah, we're just trying to show off talent. I like nudity. <sighs> okay, here, look. Uh, just take a look at what's currently on the art category. Well, that just looks like promising 3D art right there. Oh, that's a good show of creativity right there. That looks like a bit of artistic undressing to me. I don't see what's wrong. Oh, come on, who here is not a fan of the Sonic franchise? It looks like some fantasy artwork to me. I'm not gonna judge. Hey, look at this one. It's straight up porn. <gasps> oh my God. Oh Jesus. Oh my. I've seen that one before. Okay, that last one was an obvious band. Case closed. But do you get where I'm going with this? Hey, look, here's another questionable section. Some types of content that were prohibited will now be allowed on Twitch if appropriately labeled. Content that deliberately highlighted breast, buttocks, or pelvic region, even if fully clothed. You're telling me they have free reign as long as there's a label? Look, we banned that user not too long ago for doing just that, and our solution now is to just allow it? Hmm. Who is that? That's Morgpie, sir. I've never seen that woman in my life. Here, let me zoom out. Oh, Morgpie! Is that really the direction we want to go with this website? And you're putting a lot of trust in the streamers to label their content correctly. For example, if you look at the just chatting category, one of the most consistently popular categories on our website, you're gonna find all kinds of stuff that I'm sure isn't properly labeled. Like, look at this, and then this. Okay, they're clearly exercising, thus promoting a healthy lifestyle. And I'm sure I speak for everyone here when I say that our user base could use a little bit of that inspiration. Am I right, boys? Am I right? Are you serious? Look, before content creators are always towing the line of what they can get away with. Let's be real. That, plus the inconsistency in our policy, has led to a very adversarial relationship between us and our community. It would be much healthier to create an appropriate subsection where they can continue their feet cams and body painting and hentai art. <laughs> I mean, uh, artistic nudity. You see, we put the responsibility of labeling on the streamers, and as a result, it keeps our homepage clean. People can see what they want to see, advertisers are happy, it's a win-win. Look, I'm just afraid we're two steps away from becoming a poorly disguised porn site. OBJECTION! That is what you call a slippery slope fallacy. Don't test me, I went to college. Oh yeah, what degree, huh? Sociology. I don't even know where I was going with that. So, are we done here? No, wait, please, listen. Everyone, listen. Just think about it. Twitch was built as a platform for gamers. We've cultivated this community and we've hit great success. And I feel like we're losing that when we incentivize sexual content as a tool to gain viewers, perpetuating the idea that sex sells. Where does that leave content creators who aren't interested in doing that? I fear the spectrum of Twitch content is swaying drastically and harrowingly towards adult-oriented entertainment. Deliberately highlighted breast? Artistic nudity? There are so many other websites for that. Why does Twitch have to be one of them? We literally have minors on our website. We allow viewers as young as 13. For the health of our website and community, I beg you guys to reconsider these new policies and just put in real rules. <sighs> You're right. You're absolutely right. The solution has always been there. And after hearing you say all of that, there's only one course of action, boys.
ban miners from Twitch. Yes! Best solution ever. No kids allowed. Kids shouldn't have access to the internet, period. Fellas, this is it. Before we do that, let's ban a bunch of VTubers. Yeah, let's bait them with the new rules and then fucking ban them all. Take that kick. Hey gang. Dozer here. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Please share your thoughts and comments down below. And if you liked it, be sure to give it a like and subscribe and I'll be sure to give you guys more content in the future. Y'all have a good one.